Hi there, this is Dan Rambo from Choice Provisions. I'm joined by Jason Cirillo, the man who created the weird game you're currently looking at. Hello. So it's called Wodave. It's a single screen retro arcade platformer, a lot of buzzwords there, where the goal is to kill aliens by throwing stuff at them. It's a pretty simple concept, but you're about to see how crazy it gets and how fast. That's why Jason here is going to show you some pro moves and give you some general info about how the game is played. Jason! Thank you, Dan. That was lovely. Oh, anytime. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play some Woe Dave, and uh, what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to start off uh, by showing you Bonkers mode, which is actually, like I think, the real game of Woe Dave, and you unlock this mode after you've collected a dollar fifty in normal mode, but this is really, in my opinion, the, the really fun way to play it. So you'll notice that these eggs and skulls are falling from the top of the screen down onto the platforms, and you use those as your weapons to kill the aliens that you'll see are hatching from the flashing eggs. So really, you can't hold on to these for very long because they will hatch and they'll kill you, so uh, you want to get rid of them. Um, so we also have a skull here, and you'll notice the skulls can be picked up and thrown like the eggs, but the skulls are more like bombs, and they will explode, as you see, and they will destroy anything that is close to them, uh, including eggs, aliens, and you. Uh, there are also these UFOs that are going to come out, and you'll notice that they fire lasers down onto the platforms, and, and at some uh, for, uh, some of the platforms you'll see they're a bit darkened. If those platforms are hit by the lasers, they will descend to the bottom of the screen and float on the top of the lava. Uh, the low blocks, which Dave is currently carrying, uh, are sort of like the kill everything on the screen weapon, and you can hold on to these. Uh, but you have to throw them down onto the floor. If you end up throwing them in the lava, you will lose them and they won't have any effect. So you'll see we're kind of holding on to it until the screen gets a little bit more populated so we can kind of do a clean sweep of all the coins. Uh, you'll notice that um, the, the eggs will flash and the skulls will flash before they explode or hatch to kind of give you fair warning. The UFOs are tricky because they kind of can go right through platforms and they randomly fly around the screen uh, firing those lasers, which will destroy anything that they touch, including some of, well, actually the platforms won't be destroyed, they just they just fall down. Uh, the only scoring in Wodave is by uh, picking up the pennies that pop out when you kill aliens. Uh, the higher evolution of the alien, the more coins that you will get. And the aliens evolve when they hit that lava pit at the bottom of the screen. There are four incarnations of those aliens. Uh, the green ones are the ones that hatch out of the eggs first. You'll see one down here. It's going to jump into the lava. He turns into a red alien. They run quickly. That's kind of their special power. Then they turn into the pants jumpers, which are these blue ones that you can see jump up. And they can jump up around the platforms and kind of get you from, uh, from below. And then once the blue ones reach the lava, which we'll probably see a little, li a little bit later on in the gameplay, they'll turn into eye bats, which can pursue you. They actually pursue you directly, and they'll follow you around. Uh, they go right through the platforms. Um, so some of the things that... There's a lot of strategy in Woe Dave. It's a really simple-looking game on the surface, but I think the more you play it, the more you start to realize all the strategy that's kind of hidden within. So one of the things we're doing here is we're kind of... We're not picking up that Woe block yet. We're going to leave it there. Uh, until we really, really need it. Because once you pick something up, you can't just put it down. Uh, you can throw it, and but woe blocks will explode when they're thrown. So you, if you pick it up, you're kind of stuck. Um, so we're kind of just holding on to that. And you'll see we've got some bats on the screen. There's a whole bunch of aliens. We're, <laughs> we're not doing so good now because we're starting to lose control of the screen. Uh, but we're going to get rid of that thing now. So you'll see we can just do a clean sweep and just collect a ton of pennies, which, again, are the only way you score points in Wodave. I think... My high score, I think I've only broken $4 maybe one time. Dan, I don't know, what do you think is your high score? In, in uh, my high score is probably 250, which is a score worth being proud of. That's a pennies. great score. That's an amazing score. I think the highest score that we have ever recorded in the office was a little over $8. Um, so it's not, I mean, the, the, the cool thing about Woe Dave is that you can always remember your high score because it's just like these little dollar increments, and that's on purpose, and I think it's, it makes it a little bit more fun, uh, you know, for leaderboards and competing with your friends. Um, so yeah, uh, this is Woe Dave, and it will uh, be coming to your PlayStation Vita console, and it is a lot of fun. Dan, please buy it. Think? Yes, please buy it. Use your real-life pennies to, or buy, us. to buy Woe Dave. You'll enjoy it. It is a very, very enjoyable video game that you can play with your human hands. We like to think so. I think so. That adjourns this place. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you to everyone watching. Thank you.